Well, hello. Today we're going to be doing partial products multiplication part two. And we're going to start with our math message this uh, today. So I'd like you to solve 4 times 29 and see if you can't do that in your head. Hmm, mentally, how would I do that? Could you do 4 times 30 and then subtract 4? Yes. Let's show you. If we do 4 times 30, we get 120. And we subtract 4 from that, we get 115. And that is the answer to 4 times 29. So what about 803 times 6 in your head? Could we do 800 times 6 and 3 times 8, or sorry, 3 times 6, and add them together? We sure could. 800 times 6 is going to give me 4,800, and 3 times 6 would give me 18. I add those together, I get 4,818. I'm going to stick my commas in there. All right. So in this lesson... We are going to be learning to multiply two-digit numbers by a two-digit number. So I want you to think back to uh, part one of partial products and how we were able to multiply um, using partial products with just one digit uh, times a two-digit or a three-digit number. Now we're going to have a two-digit number times a two-digit number. Oh, no. Actually, it's not that bad. We're going to go ahead and use the same strategies that um, we have used previously. So here's our first problem. We have 61 times 12. And basically, we're going to take that 12 and we're going to break it into 10 and 2. And that's going to make sense here in a minute. So first of all, I'm going to say there are 10 60s in that problem or 10 times 60 which gives me 600. And then we have 10 ones, or 10 times one, which gives me 10. And then we're gonna move over to that two, and we're gonna have two 60s, or two times 60, which is going to give me 120. And then we have two ones, or two times one, which is going to give me 2. We put our line, our addition sign, and we're going to add each column just like we normally do in an addition problem. We get 2 in the 1's column, 3 in the 10's, and 7 in the 100's. So our answer is 732. See, it wasn't so bad. Let's try another one. This time we're going to do 78 times 63. So again, we're going to look at that bottom number and we're going to break that up. So really it would be 60 plus 3 if we broke that up. So we're going to say that there are 60 70s or 60 times 70, which is going to give me 4,200. And then I have 60 eights, which will be 6 times 8 or 48. And then we're going to move over to that 3, and we're going to have 3 70s, or 3 times 70, which gives me 210. And we have 3 8s, or 3 times 8, which will give me 24. We're going to put our line, our addition sign, and we're going to add them up. So 8 and 4 is going to give me 12. Regroup. I've got 1, 4, 1, and 2. That's going to give me 8. Sorry about that. I was just double checking my addition because it didn't look right at first. And then we're going to do the next uh, column, which is my hundreds. 2 and 2 is going to give me 4. And the thousands column, 4 and nothing gives me 4. So our answer comes out to be 4,482. 
See, it's not so bad, I told you. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little bit bigger problem. This time I have a three digit times a two digit. Do you think we're gonna do it the same way? Why, yes we are. It's just gonna take us a little bit longer. So, first of all, we're going to take the 28, and again, that's going to be 20 plus 8, so we're going to start with the 20. We've got 20 four hundreds, or 20 times 400, and when we multiply that, that's going to give us 8,000. Then we're going to have 20 thirties, or 20 times 30, which is going to give us 600. And then we have 20 fours or 20 times 4, which is going to give us 80. And now we're going to scoot on over to the 8. We're going to do 8 four hundreds, or 8 times 400, and that's going to give us 3,200. We're going to have 8 thirties, or 8 times 30, which is going to give us 240. And then we have 8 4s, or 8 times 4, which is going to give us 32. We're going to put our line, our addition sign, and we're going to add each column. So my 1s is going to give me 2. My 10s is going to give me 15. My 100s column is going to give me 11. And my 1000s column is going to give me 12. So our final answer is 12,152. And this is partial products, part two, still using that same strategy that we used with part one, except we've added some digits. So to summarize this lesson, we learned how to multiply two-digit times two-digit numbers using partial products. We saw that this method also works with three-digit numbers. And if we continue to do four-digit and so on, it should still work. You just have a really long problem. And we also, hopefully, are realizing that knowing our facts makes work a whole lot easier. Because if we don't know those multiplication facts, we're going to be sitting there for quite some time trying to figure out the answer to each of those. Thank you for watching.